Good evening. Today is Saturday, November 16th of 2024. This is the 321st weigh-in. Hello there. Well, what a wild fight that was last night. Netflix was struggling with the streaming and uh, they have a couple of Christmas football games coming up. I wonder if they'll be able to handle the bandwidth. Um, reminded me of that Love is Blind uh, finale or tell all where they struggled. Um, let's see. So, good night with my buddy. A lot of good conversation. Uh, he, I don't know how to put it other than uh, he, he goes hard, he's wild, he's savage. I don't know what is the euphemism you want to use to describe him, but a lot of conversations about demons and how uh, certain entities feed off of our negative energy and the essence being the source of all creation, the golden age and the silver age, I don't know. A lot, a lot of interesting ideas. Oh. 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 So, one takeaway that it feels like God has just been trying to get through to me on, be it through people from church, my buddy in Florida, uh, my buddy last night, uh, my mom tried to do it. Try to impart this on me. Oh, basically. <clears throat> oh, what, <laughs> what, what I arrived on is ultimately um, the food, man-made, man-made food, processed food, uh, high fructose corn syrup, sugar, preservatives, all of these modern foodstuffs that are not naturally occurring, um, basically just processed food that I've landed on framing it as demonic food, <laughs> that it is not from God, that God gave us chicken and steak, and he gave us vegetables and fruits and legumes and beans, and there's so many things that like literally are natural and are designed for us to eat and then we bastardize so many of them and it's causing all these chronic illnesses it's causing the obesity epidemic um and i've just told myself like i can control it i can primarily eat those things but eat them in the right doses and i'm just even if i could i don't want to <laughs> so um basically this home is a sanctuary that does not suborn uh, demonic food. <laughs> it's crazy that it is to say. But basically, it's like uh, my buddy tried to get me to buy into the notion of only vegetables, meat when you're at home, no more soda, no more sugar, no more garbage. And then if you're out at a party, yeah, it's okay. If uh, people are meeting at a pizza place, it's okay. Like, it's kind of the 80-20 rule, but it's a very bright dividing line whereby when you're on your own or when you're at home, um, that's when you eat clean. And then when you're around other people, that's when you're free to not eat clean. Now, the, my my framing is, is not so much the 80-20 rule, but rather the the sacred and the profane. So that doesn't mean I won't eat profane foods, but that I'll understand them to be profane. And what that means is it's kind of similar to if you're drinking, it's 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 okay, but it's like not to be done in excess. It's not to be 
something you subsist on. It's something that's a treat or something that is the aberrant, not the, the standard, right? It's the exception, not the rule. So, uh, yeah, right now I'm getting rid of all the food in the home <laughs> that isn't God's food. <sighs> watershed moment. It's one of almost like a spiritual or ideological commitment. And I don't know how long it'll take for me to really master it outside of the home. You know, like, am I going to be strong enough tomorrow while watching football to just eat the Costco chicken and, and broccoli in the fridge? Or am I going to go get a burger? Uh, well, the commitment is it's not to come in the home. So we'll just see how long of a process it'll be for me to truly master it. But it is my intention to respect this dichotomy and to trust God, and not man, to not uh, satisfy the lusts of the flesh, but to act in accordance with the spirit. <sighs> Okay, got a banquet to go to tonight. Good stuff. See you tomorrow.